Hi, I'm Jose, and this is Mary and Will. We're for Spectrum, a combined engineering team from St. Anne's Academy and Straight Jesuit College Preparatory. Our team is comprised of students from all over the greater Houston area. We are a tight-knit team. We meet year-round and host many team activities, such as paintball, ice skating, and our yearly end-of-season banquet. One of our largest undertakings is spectacular, a free two-week long robotics course we give to over 70 students at the Spring Branch Boys and Girls Club. The curriculum is completely created and taught by our team members each of the past five years. Not only does spectacular helps for the STEM in our community and inspire more students, it also helps our students grow in their leadership and communication skills. We spread STEM to hundreds of girls all over Houston by partnering with various organizations such as Be The Change, Girls Inc., and the Sally Ride Festival. From introducing robotics to female students from low-income families to helping American Heritage girls earn the robotics patch, Spectrum is committed in promoting STEM to girls of all ages and of all backgrounds. To further promote STEM in our schools, we invite local professionals to give presentations as part of our Mentor for a Day series. These talks are open to everyone at the school and we have hosted 16 speakers from a variety of professions. Last month, we brought in April Blackwell, a NASA mission control officer, to talk about her goals of becoming an astronaut. Another way that we collaborate with some professionals is through construction. For the past five years, we have teamed up with an architecture firm to design and build a structure out of canned goods to promote hunger awareness. Over 15,000 cans have been donated to the Houston Food Bank due to our involvement. I have led our construction team for the past three years, and this competition has given us the opportunity to use the CAD skills that we learned for the robot to directly make an impact in our community. Not only do we aim to strengthen our community, our main goal is to build strong relationships among robotics teams all around the world. We have interviewed 31 mentors for our How I Work blog series, where they discuss their careers and personalities. And we are now making trading cards featuring these mentors. Our yearly bill blog serves as a resource for FRC teams, especially rookie teams. And this year, we've been published all of our CAD during the build season, and we are invited to share our blog on the Blue Lines. This dedication to collaboration doesn't just end online. Throughout the year, we make numerous efforts to visit teams at their build sites, and this year are even lending Team 231 our $17,000 full FRC field perimeter. During the, this past build season, we traveled to Dallas to visit Teams 148 and 2848, but in our past, have visited Teams 118, 64, 1477, and 5414 on numerous occasions. These relationships are also about more than just the robots. For the last three years, we've organized demonstrations at Comic Palooza and the Houston Maker Fair, collecting groups of teams and providing a full FRC field perimeter. This collaborative effort has reached over 30,000 people annually. And after events like this, we often go on social bit outings with teams, including Team 1983, who will be visiting from Washington for the Houston Championship. Since 2014, we have hosted the only kickoff event for FLL and the FLL Junior in Southeast Texas. And that year, when FLL needed a new regional event, we stepped up and organized the first annual Spectrum FLL qualifier. Since our rookie year, we have volunteered at 68 robotics events, many of which we attend just as volunteers. During my time on the team, I have volunteered at 32 of these events. And every year, we set up the field at the Lone Star Regional, and our students have experienced some key volunteer positions at these robotics events. These experiences help our members appreciate the volunteers who make the events possible. We have thrice volunteered to help distribute the kit of parts at our local kickoff. And throughout the remainder of the build season, we invite teams to our space in order to help them refine their designs and build their robots. For the last two years, we've also hosted a Robot in Three Days team at our facility. Comprised of alumni from seven different Houston area FRC teams, they meet to build a competition-ready robot in three days as an example for rookie teams and as a way of keeping alumni involved in first. We are dedicated to promoting the, Houston, the Texas robotics community. We have, for the last three years, organized and run the Texas Robotics Invitational. This event has drawn competitors from across the state and provides free registration to pre-rookie teams. Th during the rest of the off-season, we volunteer with field reset, setup, and audiovisual at every Texas and Louisiana off-season event. These events enable teams to continue to meet and compete throughout the year, and live streaming archival services enable teams to share what they love with friends and family who can't attend. We need a real FRC deal available to every Texas State offseason and assist it with the transportation and logistics. To help advance the transition to the district model, we are working to start new offseasons all around the state. We are working with San Antonio FRC teams 457 and 5986 to run an FRC event at St. Mary's University this October. And we are working to establish an event in the Dallas metro area as well. At these events, we will train new volunteers to prepare for the increasing number of competitions around the state. 
My time on the team has opened doors for a number of exciting experiences. I have been able to volunteer as MC at local robotics events as well as two FRC off-season events. I have also joined members of my team at corporate sponsored events, including the NRG First Football Showcase, Spacecom, and Rockwell Automation. In 2015, I even had the opportunity to travel to Shenzhen, China at the invitation of the Chinese Urban Youth Robotics Alliance. While there, together with members of my own team, as well as teams 118 and 2468, we mentored students from the Suzhou Foreign Language School in preparation for an off-season event. All of these experiences have opened my eyes to the unique advantages of being on a team like Spectrum and have encouraged me to continue volunteering after I graduate. My experiences on the team have changed my life in more ways I could have never imagined in just four years. When I first joined the team, I had very little experience in engineering, and since then, I've worked diligently and this year as the lead developer of our intake. And even though I was terrified of public speaking as a freshman, through the encouragement of my teammates and mentors, I've become an active advocate for our team first and STEM. Through FRC, I've met so many people who have changed my life for the better, especially my mentor, who has encouraged me to do more than I ever thought I could. Spectrum is dedicated to empowering their students to change their lives and to make an impact on the world around them. Thank you for your time, and we invite you to ask any questions that you might have.